On the paper, it doesn't look like there's a big difference between the Redmi Note 4X and the Redmi 4X. Both have, according to the Xiaomi website, a 30 megapixel camera, a 5 pieces lens, f2.0 aperture, and face detection autofocus. The difference between the two? The sensor. The Redmi Note 4X has a Sony Mate IMX258 sensor, while the Redmi 4X has the widely used Samsung Mate S5 K3 L8 sensor. In case you would like to purchase the Redmi 4X or the Note 4X after watching this video, I've added some links in the description. The weather was cloudy during daylight shots, and the shots from each phone for a given scene were taken within seconds after each other with HDR off, high quality, auto modus, and with auto focusing on. The first photo doesn't look that exciting except for some color differences. However, there's a huge difference in sharpness. With the second picture, we see the same as well as some sort of green filter that's on top of the Redmi 4X picture. If we take the photos inside, we see the same. The Redmi 4X has a lower brightness and less vivid colors, but that all changes when we take a close up with the Redmi 4X, as I do believe it is a better picture than the Redmi Note 4X. If we look at another shot, first without HDR, I do like the Redmi 4X's photo. As the colors look more vivid, it's bright and also more details when zooming in. If you look at the same picture, made with HDR on, the effect is even more strengthened. However, when making a close-up HDR picture, the Redmi 4X's colors reproduction looks a little bit off. The ribbon is a bit blue, greenish, and the overall photo is quite okay as well. Regarding the selfie camera, the Redmi 4X has an Omnivision OV5675 camera, while the Note 4X uses the Samsung S5 K5 E8 sensor instead. You will notice right away that there are two major differences, color reproduction and image size capturing. The Redmi 4X has a warm and soft look, while the Note 4X shows some more real-life colors. So as you can see, the distance compared to the Redmi Note 4X is different. Let's have a look. So, this is with the Redmi Note 4X, and as you can see, the difference is a bit different. So my face is slightly uh, close up. Well, we're still at the same spot, and this is shot with the Redmi Note 4X in 1080p. Both have the same amount of detail, and it's more than good enough to share on social media. The same is for the selfie video, and I must say, I do prefer the 4X, as it shows more background than just me with the Note 4X. Regarding the video, both devices top out at 1080p in the official camera app and lack optical or electronic image stabilization, as you can see right now. Both devices have some issues with the video artifacts, whereas the Redmi Note 4X has a little bit more than its smaller brother. On the other hand, the colors and level of detail are on the Redmi Note 4X better. The autofocus is luckily not so jumpy anymore compared to the previous Xiaomi devices. For panoramas, the Redmi Note 4X scores definitely better, due to the fact that it has more detail, better color reproduction and more sharpness. Regarding the low light situations, the Redmi Note 4X's main camera is far ahead of the Redmi 4X with more detail, less noise, better color reproduction, but the Redmi 4X does a much better job regarding the selfie camera in my opinion. I've shared quite some samples with you, but I do like to hear your opinion as well, as we all perceive quality and colors differently. Please drop a line in the comment section below, as I do like to discuss with you which smartphone is better, as I do believe the Redmi 4X is slightly better. In case you would like to purchase the Redmi 4X or the Note 4X, I've added some links in the description. Thank you for watching, please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done already so, and see you with the next video guys.